Hi, this is Jessica Lopez. In this video, I will be covering how to integrate your WebAssign course into your Canvas course shell. So the first thing you want to do is go to your WebAssign and log into WebAssign using your Cengage credentials. And in your home screen, you should see the list of courses that you're teaching that are using WebAssign. Those courses would be any of the calculus sequence, the pre-calculus, or the college algebra pre track 1414 standalone or the 1414 co-rec with 314. And so what you want to do is just go into your web assigned courses and make sure that you do have these courses um, available in web assign and they do say fall 2021. As long as you see those courses there in your um, uh, thread in your homepage, then you will be able to link to it inside Canvas. If you do not see your course listed in WebAssign, um, please contact me, Jessica Lopez, at jlopez at alamo.edu so that I can um, help to figure out why you don't have a course in your WebAssign and which course it is that you need so that I can copy a master course um, so that you could have one a copy of it for your course. So once I verify that these are here, I'm going to go ahead and go into my Canvas shell that I would like to import it into. So I am teaching a CoREC 1414. And so what I'm going to do for CoREC, for any, everything else is standalone. The standalone 1414s, the pre-cals, the calculuses, all of those are standalones. And so for all of those, you would go to your Canvas shell course and import everything in there. If you're teaching a co-requisite course, you are going to import everything into the college algebra course and not the developmental 314, okay? So again, if you're teaching a co-requisite 1414, you're going to import all of your web assigned stuff into the 1414 course, okay? You cannot copy it into both. Um, so to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll to the bottom and we're going to click on settings. So these would be the same instructions no matter what course you're trying to link to WebAssign. Then scroll to the bottom and you want to find the tool that says Cengage. There is another tool called Cengage Unlimited. And that is not the one that you want to put in there. So here it is right here. Cengage Unlimited Institutional SBC, it sounds like it's the one you want, but it's not. You want the one that says just Cengage all by itself. And I'm going to pull that up into my navigation bar. I like to put it at the top just so that I can access it faster later. Make sure you click save. Most people will miss that step and then it will not populate over here in the navigation bar if you don't click save. So once you do click save, everything is here and we see this engage bar there. I'm gonna go, or tool, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the tool in the navigation bar. Now, if this is the first time you've ever clicked on this engage tool this fall semester, okay? So if this is your second course that you're um, trying to link together, it will go straight to this menu just like it did for me. Okay, I have already been playing around with the linking, um, so it took me to this page automatically. And if you're linking your second course, it's possible it will take you to this menu automatically as well. However, if you're linking to your first course for the fall 2021 semester, it will ask you to log in to Cengage using your Cengage credentials first before popping up this menu with the three options, okay? But as soon as you log in to Cengage using your Cengage credentials, you'll see these three options. The one we want to select is going to be add homework platform. This will add the web assign assignments or allow me to add the web assign assignments as well as um, the students will have access to the ebook inside web assign. So I wanna find the textbook that we're using. So for us, all of our textbooks for college algebra, pre-cal track, pre-cal, 
and the calculus sequence all have the author Lawson, uh, Larson. So I'm just going to search Larson, and then you'll notice that you have, um, of course, the algebra and trig book, but then you also have the calculus or the transcendental functions. <laughs> Excuse me. So both of them are in here. Now, this is a 1414 course for me, so I'm going to click excuse me, link to course from here. And then, as I mentioned before, your course should already be in WebAssign, and that is what you are linking it to. If you do not have a course existing in WebAssign, you cannot go any further from here. I know there appears to be some other options, but these other options are not going to work for our department. Our department wants you to link it to an existing course, mainly because there are master courses, which everyone will receive copies of. And those are the courses that we want you to link to. We don't want you linking to a course that you just created from scratch on your own. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't edit the copies that you receive. So I believe I'm in section 61. Let me verify. Yes. So I am going to link it to this web assigned course, which is section 61. Be very careful that if you do have more than one section of a course, that you link it to the proper um, course, the proper section. Um, so I'm going to click that. And then I believe at the bottom, I can click continue. So I can edit the stuff inside WebAssign. Once you have received a copy of the master, you are allowed to edit inside WebAssign as much as you'd like, and it will not affect the master copy. At the end of the semester, I have created a, a Google form. So as the semester goes through, if you notice anything in there that you'd like to remove or that you'd like to add, um, any kind of edits that you suggest would be helpful for everyone across the department. Um, just keep a note of all of those um, suggestions. And at the end of the semester, I will send out the link to the Google form, and then you can type in all of your suggestions for improving that master um, course in WebAssign. And then I will make all the changes that the department approves, and it'll be a new and improved for the spring semester. So again, just Keep note of anything that you suggest, and then at the end, we'll fill out the Google form. I'll bring up the results to discuss in a department meeting or in a curriculum meeting, and uh, we'll move on from there. Okay, so once this is here inside um, your shell, notice that I did delete the, um, the little module entry in here that said imported on 8.6. Um, it's just extra bits of information. I like to delete that. If you're trying to keep track of when you imported things, you may want to leave that title in there, but I deleted it. Okay. You can publish this link and pub and well, of course you would have to publish the module in order for them to see this link, but you can publish these things if you would like the students to be able to click on this link and go directly into your web assign. Okay. Um, I do not like to publish this personally. What I prefer to do instead is to, it helps with the gradebook, is to import the assignments so that they populate my gradebook inside Canvas. Um, and then the students can just click on those assignments individually and it automatically takes them to the assignment in WebAssign. I prefer for them to go in through that route. Um, it also kind of helps to maintain the order in which they should be doing the assignments. Um, but once they're in an assignment in WebAssign, they can navigate outside of that assignment and get to the general homepage of the course. And that's exactly where this link will take them is to the homepage of the course. So they'll see all the assignments throughout the whole semester. Um, but that's not what I prefer to do. So I prefer not to use this. I prefer to go back to the Cengage. And you do need to do this if you want your assignments um, to land inside your Canvas gradebook, okay? So I will go to this Engage bar again, right? The first time we went in there was to select the textbook and select the web assigned course that we were linking to. The second time that I click the Engage tool, I want to import the assignments. 
So I'm going to click on select content. And then I'm going to select all of these assignments. Unfortunately, when I try to click on that top one, all it does is create another link to the home page. So I'm not going to um, click on that this time. Again, I did mention I was practicing before so that I can ensure I give you guys the simplest um, steps. Unfortunately, I do have to click on every single one of these. And sometimes it will um, import everything right away. And sometimes it takes a few minutes. So if I get an error message, the chances are that it did in fact link. It's just gonna take a little while for it to um, populate in the modules, like the link to the homepage did. So when I connected it to a web assigned course, um, it did put that link in the modules tab. And when I put all of these in, it will do the same thing. It will put a link to every single one of these assignments in the modules tab. I believe that's the end, but I want to make sure. Yes, you can also um, add a link to the um, co-requisite support book or you can add a link to the uh, algebra and trigonometry ebook. I don't necessarily put these in there only because once they do get inside uh, WebAssign, they do have access to those. If I choose to go in and add those later, I can do that as well. But that is a choice whether you want to import those links to the textbook or not. So let's give it one moment while it is trying to process everything. Okay, so it said that there was um, an error or it failed to link, but um, it might still be processing it. So let me go to my modules and see if it is in fact in there. If it is not, I will come back here and probably just try to import a smaller group of them. Okay, see it did. If that message does come up, um, it's just because there's a bunch that it's copying. It's the only other reason I've received that message is when I try to copy everything at one time. But it does in fact link it, okay? So two things will happen when you press continue. Either one, you'll get that red message that says it's, it's not going to sync them, but it does if you click on the modules tab. Um, or two, it will automatically go and then just automatically take you into this modules tab um, by itself, okay? So now you see all of the items here. These are all the assignments into WebAssign. So what we're gonna do, oops. Oh no, I closed everything. So let me go back into Canvas real quick. I just, my finger slipped and for some reason I closed everything. So let me log back in and get back into my class. Hmm, I don't know why it's not. Going in automatically. I apologize for the delay. My video is literally almost over. But for some reason, I accidentally closed everything out. So give me one moment. Uh, 
I have to go into my phone to figure out what my password is because for some reason I'm not remembering it right now. Okay, there we go. Let's get back into Canvas. And we'll keep going. So I'm gonna go back to that course where I had just imported all of those assignments. And then I was gonna say one little thing about the assignments and we were done. So let me get back into that college algebra course. Now, when I create a module, now, however you choose to do it, whether you choose to do weekly modules or you choose to do unit modules, that is completely up to you. But um, I choose to do units, so I will create a module like this. And then all you have to do is just drag whatever items, whatever assignments you want in that module into that um, location. You can also um, hide these links. So you can leave them here. They are published, um, but they won't ever see these links because this module is um, not published. So what you can do, and I'm just gonna show you guys um, what I've done for my Cal 3 class this summer and what I plan to do for my college algebra. It's just an option. I'm not saying that anyone has to do this. Um, but I did go through the QM training and I've learned quite a bit in there. And I believe eventually we're trying to, as a school, move into that um, format. So if you notice, when I go to my modules in my other course, you notice that there, I do have, um, a link to WebAssign in here. But you'll notice that there's not links to the assignments like there are. They're down here. And notice that I don't have this published. So there's all the assignments. They can't see them here in the modules tab um, because I don't have this, mo this module um, published. What I do have is they are listed under the overview. So if I go here to the overview, it tells them um, what they're going to need to be doing for the week. And then there's a page that I created with the WebAssign assignments. So if I click on that WebAssign assignments link, it basically has all the links for all of the chapter 11 and chapter 12, um, everything that, that they would need to work on for module one. And so if they click these links here, it does take them straight into that assignment in this web assign course. So I'm just letting you know how I um, use the links to the assignments, um, but it is your choice. You could just create your module and have the assignment uh, link right in there, or you can create a page with all the links and then just hide <laughs> the links in a module that's not published. Um, so see, it brings me right into this um, assignment and they can ask the teacher, they can fill out all the problems and they can even submit the assignment down at the bottom. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And in my grade book, just to show you the grade book, um, well, maybe I shouldn't show the grade book, but because this is an active course, so there are live grades in there. But if you go to the grade book, it does have all of these assignments, all of the web assign assignments, it does have them in the grade book. Um, but that's it. That is the end of this training. So you basically pull up and notice that in this course, I no longer have this engage tool enabled. You can disable it once you've imported the course, you've linked the course, and then you've imported your assignments. So once you do those two things using that Cengage tool, you can remove this Cengage tool, excuse me, if you don't want students to access it anymore.
Um, but that is it. It's a pretty long video. I apologize for the link, but hopefully you've um, listened to some helpful information in setting up your WebAssign linking.